Hello everyone, welcome again and today I am going to continue my Angular JS tutorial. Today we will see how to create a arrays object and uh, what is dollar eval operation uh, um, in uh, Angular JS. So first we will di discuss about the object Angular JS object, how to create object and uh, we will see all the things practically. If you want notes or if you want some data to read that, so just to go in code1.com and search about the Angular JS array and uh, eval dollar email with example so let's start in uh, for practical things I am using my Eclipse ID in Eclipse ID I am going to create a complete new project for you and uh, if you don't know how to configure that uh, Eclipse ID with Angular JS, you can watch my previous videos and uh, uh, you can easily understand how to configure that so let's just start let's go on new and create a complete new dynamic web project the project name will be angular js object or anything you want okay it's done first i am going to configure this uh, angular js plugin so convert to angular js project now i'm going to create an uh, html file the file name will be index.html inside that web contain i'm creating a js folder inside the js folder we will put all the java uh, angular.js file so index.js okay so there is a con complete configuration of that uh, particular task so here we are going to use the view part this is the index.html file so for using the angular.js library you have to import that uh, link or uh, i'm going to use that uh, link by, uh, directly by google or you can download this angular.min.js file from angular and insert your library folder and you can use all the uh, on the libraries of all the facilities for angular.js so let's uh, start first with uh, object how to create object in angular.js and how to work with this okay so ng app we are going to use this body and uh, one more thing i have to define the object here so in ng init we'll use like a variable and in this ng init we will define our uh, object so my object obj equals to so i'm defined to string here to like s1 s1 equals to you can see anything I'm using welcome and the other string s2 So obj is my complete object inside the object there is a two property the s1 is a welcome message with a welcome message and s2 with angularjs I want to print this data on my view page or HTML so simply I can use like uh, I can use header tag heading tag and inside this heading I'm going to use expression tag what is expression tag how to use this for uh, you can watch previous videos there you have to clear S2. okay this is the way we can retrieve the value from the object object s1 and object s2 so now just to test that application on my server for test that, uh, that application or run that application you have to you you need a uh, server so i'm using a tomcat server in a real time browser so, <coughs> so it's printing this because uh, it's not a real time browser so yeah welcome angular js it's a message the different things you can use it uh, like this also plus sign and a space between this and uh, Again, plus sign and copy this. It's like uh, we use in uh, JavaScript or Java. It's the same message. So it's about it's all about object and uh, 
next thing how to declare in uh, array and uh, how to work with that array so inside that init I'm going to remove this and uh, creating an array the array name will be will be x or something you can take inside this x I'm putting some values 3 4 5 6 something now I'm going to print the index of that array at 0 x0 x1 x2 x3 x4 x5 x6 x1 x2 x3 x4 x5 and x6 yeah now everything is done now I'm going to run it again let's test that application so you can see all the values I want two three four five six so this is the way you can create an array in um, your uh, angular js and uh, retrieve it and uh, the next topic is how to use that eval operation how to use that eval dollar eval function and how it will work so eval is a simple for simply function but is used to evaluate the exp evaluate the expression values so let's see a real time example for that I'm going to use that uh, index.js file first I have to create an uh, an uh, module so app dot angular dot module inside that module the module name my app and uh, an array with them I'm going to use a controller so it's a controller so controller name is uh, my CDRL and create a function inside this pass a dollar scope that's it. so uh, create a variable scope dot x equals to 50 something you can take the next variable will be dollar scope dot y equals to 20 right. and now another variable the scope dot answer or something you can use so dollar scope dot dollar eval inside this eval function we can use x plus y or anything you want to evaluate okay. now I'm going to print that uh, answer value here so I'm going to remove this for a sec this. I'm going to remove this in it also so inside this ng the my module name is ng uh, my app and uh, another is ng controller so ng controller in my controller name is my controller so here inside the expression i am print that answer value and is now uh, this value right so let's see the output again oh, it's, it's, it's Okay, uh, there is a not exact output. It's a uh, painting as it is. So there is one mistake we did. Uh, we didn't script that file. This file index.js. For script that file, just type script. Inside that script, take just type src. Inside this src, just js index.file. This file js is a folder. Inside this folder, there is a file index.js. load it again yeah you can see the output is 70 so it's all about this uh, evil and uh, 
next thing is here also how to create the object with array how to create an object of array you can see here example in this example just to create a module and uh, create a controller inside this controller uh, I'm just going to copy this code inside this controller uh, we are going to create we will create that user users uh, array inside this users array there is an object name and age name and age name and there are different different indexes are there and uh, something is going wrong here yeah that this is a array with object so how to retrieve the value of this uh, array object so just you need this variable for retrieving the value of this array object you need a variable it's called a, a directive it's called ng repeat ng repeat inside the ng repeat you have to pass a variable x in this users in this array we will find all the values of x so we can retrieve the data like this x dot name plus space plus x dot edge yeah let's see run and see the output yeah john 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 but edge is not display i think something is wrong here so okay the variable the value is edge capital a we are using the smaller let's reload it again yeah you can see the uh, edge also so it's all about this tutorial if you want to uh, complete the uh, data or you can use that uh, code1.com this post inside the angularjs and uh, if you like please subscribe my channel i will provide all the links inside the these links and all that required links related to you it will easy to learn you in the description box below video if you like please subscribe and press the bell icon for a more update or thank you